Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. It's Alex Belfield. Talking to some of the country's biggest stars and some of my favourite people. And two of them are here today. Joe and Kate, how are you? Oh, we're very good. Oh, we're good, you. yes. It's right. so nice to see you both again. And I just saw Club Tropicana a few months ago and it's here in Nottingham this week and continues to tour. I mean, it is one of the most extraordinary bits of theatre I think I've ever seen. <laughs> I think the word extraordinary says it all, really. It yeah. is extraordinary. It is. It's, yeah. Do you know what? It is one of the most... I don't know about you, but we've had so much fun doing yeah. it. It is. It does what it says on the tin. It doesn't pretend to be anything that it's not. And it doesn't take we, itself too seriously. No, and we just have such a good time. We do have a good time. And the time. music's great. We, we, I'm genuinely having the... I'm going to be sad when it's done. We haven't, we've only got four weeks left. We were I, talking... Sorry, we were talking before about people who were in Les Mis, you know, wonderful productions like that. We were saying... At the end of it, they must feel so miserable, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always say about Lem is at the end of the show, the entire cast are dead, and they're the lucky ones. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's one of those where you go, my God, imagine being in it. What a thrill. But at the same time, you've got to die eight times a week. It's this is the opposite. It's just yeah. uplifting it's camp old nonsense yeah. where you just get to be joyous. And separately, in two very different ways, you both win the show. That's yeah. the thing about my review. Yeah. This I'm show good. isn't an award-winning show, but your performances within it oh. is, and it's beautiful. Oh. Thank Let's you. start with you. I mean, your voice. We last spoke in this dressing room for yeah, Joseph, for Joseph, and you always knock it out of the park. And they're so bright to cast you because you deliver and you turn up eight times a week and give it, and that's so yeah. important. It, well, yeah. I mean, I, 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 but that shouldn't be a surprise, you know. I mean, it, it does become a bit of a surprise in this industry. It shouldn't. It's our jobs at the end of the day, you know. And like anybody, you have to go to work. But your voice is very robust. <laughs> But um, for me, what's been lovely is it, it's, it's kind of a little sidestep from singing just for a little bit in the sense of that I've never done comedy before and, I, and when they offered is that that was the turning point where I was like, mm. I really want to test to see if I can actually do this. Um, and it's been well, I really thought, work alongside Kate. Well, I thought, you know, Joe McKeldry, a great singer, but can he do comedy? And uh, his comedy time is great. So I was very happy. I am very happy. And you really get to steal the show with the big laughs because your heart is enormous and your character's even bigger and then you get to stick your stuff in for absolutely no reason whatsoever and just kill the audience. <laughs> well, I suddenly start doing impressions because she has to make the place look busy. So she has to be other people. So Consuela the cleaner, this is the plot I'm telling you now in case you don't know it, has to be become busy around the hotel. So I become Shelley Bassey or I become Cilla Black or... Mm. Jim Bowen or anybody else on it? Um, Margaret Dolly Thatcher. Parton. Dolly Parton. Yeah. Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> all 80s You've impressions, all yeah. Oh, and um, Adam Ant. You do Adam Ant. Oh, Wilcox. Doyle Wilcox, yeah. But, you know, it's just, yeah, it's an excuse to just do some imp impressions, really. But uh, all in the guise of this mad Spanish cleaner. So it is a bit odd. How hard is it being that pathologically cheerful for two and a half hours, eight times a week? Because it's a tough gig of smiling and being happy yeah. and completely no, over we, the top. We are a happy company. We are a really happy company. I was just talking about this to someone earlier today where I was saying, and you, you'll you know this because of, it's your 40 and you've been doing it for years, but when you do a show, sometimes you cannot, not, autopilot's not the right word that I'm trying to use, but what I mean is you go in and it kind of just goes like clockwork all the time. With comedy, it's the first time I've experienced where no show is the same. Like, you get laughs in different oh, places. Right. The cue lines are different because of the laughter. So it's one of those shows, certainly for me and you, because yes. we're delivering the comedy. You can't yeah. just sit back and go, oh, they're a nice audience tonight. You're literally listening constantly for, for like, when to pull off the laughter, when to cut them off, when to take it and to the next show. And sometimes they join in the, the singing, you know. Yeah. And sometimes they heckle you if they're a bit sort of bit particularly mad audience, yeah. don't they? So you have to know how to deal with that yeah. uh, without breaking the fourth wall. Of course, the fourth yeah. wall has been broken by his character because he's already spoken to them as, as holiday makers. Yeah. Whereas I'm not supposed to break that fourth wall. But I mean, we all have tumbleweed moments occasionally, <laughs> don't we? <Yeah. laughs> and that's the thing, it's a double-edged sword in the sense of that that gets you through the show because the audiences are so wild and wonderful but at the same time you're listening all the time so it's kind of it's one of those shows that keeps you on your toes like it's really the pace of it is so fast yeah. the musicians are fantastic we've yeah. got a great band live band on stage and um and the dancers the ensemble are just 
amazing, aren't they? Mm. I saw it a Saturday night in Sheffield, which is your own fault for going there on a Saturday yeah, night. Yeah, and there yeah. were some hecklers <laughs> and they did give you a hard time. And I guess you've got to be present. You can't just yeah. phone it in because yeah. you've got to react. You're yeah. playing the part yeah. of a guy who is yeah. meant to be in the room. And therefore, if they say something, you've got to react. And we, we planned for that in rehearsals. We, we, we knew that the, the director and the writer said, listen, you know, with some of the writing in this script, we're almost allowing them to shout out and we're all but it, we're making it like a pantomime I remember almost. you said one night you said uh, if you, you wanted, wanted to, to be in the show you should because <laughs> 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 yeah. he said he, basically the director said they're all going to be moments especially on a Friday and Saturday night when they've had far too much to drink and you're going to have to shut them down to get on the next bit of the right. scene so we just make it part of the show you know and the great thing about the show is because it's just a fun night out to celebrate 80s music we we can go with those moments and I think for me and you certainly we're used to being ourselves on stage in terms of outside of musical theatre. Yeah. So for us to kind of break out for a second, it's quite easy. And it, it, that doesn't face me at all. If something goes wrong in the show, I almost kind of... <laughs> well, the other think, night... Yes! <laughs> you know, it's like when the fire alarm goes off at school, you know, it's like something... The other exciting. night I forgot a word after saying it 130 times. I think it was the 130th time. We've Could this the be show. the medication? What is it? <laughs> I don't know, and I just suddenly went... I couldn't remember the word Protatus Bravus and I went, oh, I can't, I can't remember this. <laughs> and then the audience just laughed and we all just laughed and we carried on. Oh, well, there we are. Isn't it depressing though? You can be rehearsal for eight weeks and you get more laughs getting it wrong than you do getting it right. That's true. true. It's so true. And you know what else? And I find this in my shows, the, the song, when I'm planning my own concerts, the songs that I think are going to be the award-winning Sand Novation mm. songs are never the ones that get the biggest right. reaction. So now whenever I do a rehearsal, if, it's, if I think it's terrible in the rehearsal, I think, this is going to be brilliant. Yeah, yeah. And if I think it's great, I'm like, this is going to be terrible. Yeah. Well, that's, that's the it, it seems to work. <laughs> How did the geniuses sit in a room and think of a musical called Club Tropicana without including the song Club Tropicana within it? They didn't know it was not going to be allowed, <laughs> is the truth. Yeah. They were only told after the whole concept that uh, they weren't allowed to use it. But I think this is brilliant. This just sums up the show. Balls to Brexit is, was the headline of my review. If you want to get away from the nonsense yeah. and the Trump, I just switched on the radio and switched it straight off. I'm sick of hearing about the news and yeah. politics yeah. and Brexit and Europe and da 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 come here and you've got to leave your brain at the door and just have fun and yeah. it is so uplifting to feel that joy of people who just yeah. don't care mm. but, that's, but you know you know what I, I think theatre and performances and everything has so many different avenues and for me personally I love you know your award winning Les Mis you know Miss Saigon those like thought provoking shows where you have to sit and watch intricately what's going on and really follow the storyline and the plot but then I do it as a job so for me yeah. this show is like if I was an audience member this would be my perfect show because yeah. you can just sit you can have a few drinks you get entertained you don't have to think too we much we have people who have been back 15 times right. I mean yeah. people just get addicted to it and it's just a good laugh, it's a good yeah. sing-song, and it's very colourful, and we have the best choreographer in the world, Nick Winston, who choreographed it all and directed it with Sam Holmes. And it's just a, it's a joy. And I say, if there's not a flying witch or a giraffe, I'm not coming anyway. You know, life's too short to be depressed in a theatre. <laughs> you could get Codswina to fly and sing Defy <laughs> Gravity, couldn't you? I'd pay to see that. <laughs> <laughs> What's your life like now? I'll ask you first, Kate, because, I mean, here you are as relevant today as you were 20, 30 years ago, back on Goggly Box, which we love, and you're killing it on that programme because, of course, the, the authenticity is what's going to make you work or not work. If you start faking it, we're going to smell a rat. I mean, this is a great time for you. Yes, and, I, and with Goggle Box... Um, it's the most lovely way to spend my Sundays is with my daughter watching television. <laughs> what a nice job that is, you know. It's uh, it's lovely and we have such a laugh on it. Um, and yeah, I mean, I do love uh, reality programmes like that. I'm a Love Island watcher and um, I love doing my little bits of daft telly. But um, doing live theatre is, is totally different and I've made such good friends with all this lot. They're all my kids' age, you know, I'm the old one, but it's great. I mean, and when we look back at your career, there's no one you haven't worked with. I mean, and from music to comedy to theatre to acting, you've done it all. What an amazing career in life it's been, and you're still at it. Oh, sorry, love. I didn't read the... I missed a paragraph off uh, Wikipedia. I, w I worked with James Franco in Flyboys. Yeah, before he was absolutely massive. You didn't know that, did you? I didn't know that. Yeah, I played a madam in a brothel, yeah. and I spoke French. There she's you go. She's bragging again. I've worked with Sue Pollard in Panto. I don't know what she's going... <laughs> <laughs> and again, I mean, we look at your rise to fame and you've never stopped working since. And I do think it's your ethic. So many people just phone it in these days and sort of, yeah. sort of do it, don't do it. Yeah, you always give 100% and give more than that. 
Yeah, well, I just, uh, uh, to be honest with you, there's no, like, amazing secret about it. I just genuinely enjoy what I do. And I think if you enjoy that and it doesn't feel like work, yes, you get a little bit tired and, you know, you have your days where you're like, oh, God, mm. I could just sleep for 24 hours. But I genuinely enjoy what I do. So, for me, it, to be on the road and tour and go out and sell out audiences, and it's it genuinely is what I wanted to do when I was a kid. So... I just have a good time yeah. and if you get to work with it we're so lucky on this show you know I've worked with lots of amazing cast but there's something about it, and it sounds very cliche to say you know and family it, isn't it it's like a big family it is re- there's been absolutely no fallouts touch wood we've still got fallouts <gasps> <out there>. <laughs> but it's just there's just such a wonderful vibe and I think it's something to do with the show I think it filled us backstage because yes, it does. because the the, the, the storyline is just a constant party yes. it kind of filled us into the dressing rooms and out into the you know where, where, when we're out on nights out and stuff hard so, to be in a bad mood when you get that kind of reception isn't it on yeah, stage yeah. and that party atmosphere is always there and if there was any angst between anybody I think we'd sit on stage and the whole thing would fall apart because oh. it's just a feel good show that you can't really fake it can yeah. you yeah no you can't no no and then of course we've got the music within this it's an 80s musical and everybody knows it and I mean it's the 40 something women kind of show really isn't it and again they'll say anything and do anything at the end we get this mega mix of just a party yeah. it's not that dissimilar to sort of the Joseph mega no, mix we just don't get you in a loincloth thank god for that <laughs> I did that oh, for two get years. You in your yeah, you, get, you, you do get us every speedles. Um, no, yeah. So when they said they were doing the mega mix, I did think perfect because I knew the kind of audience that were going to come and see this would live for a nice sing along at the end. Most musicals have a mega mix. Well, not really. No. Not uh, Joseph rock. does. Some of them do like a little kind of S- rock of ages. What's that? Rock, rock of ages do do a little. Well, they do don't stop believing at the end. Yeah. Um, but we kind of cover all of the main songs in the show, which is great. And you get to do your mm-hmm. um, Jane Fonda moment, don't you? No, oh. Olivia Newton John. Yeah, Olivia, that, that great trio, Olivia Newton John. <laughs> <laughs> and I think the only reason you get away with your part is because under that cleaner's costume is, well, a very sexy actress. And we're all falling in love with you. I mean, I don't want to sound creepy at this point, Joe, but you do know that, don't you? A certain man of a certain age is finding you delicious. Certainly not dressed up as Consuelo. <laughs> I mean, honestly, when I turn up for the first day, you know, in any theatre, and I do just look like the person, you know, cleaning the rooms, people just ignore me. I remember in rehearsals, you were like, the costume, that looked terrible. I was going, I can't wear these. I said, then, that's the idea. I was yeah. like, when you open the door, but the, the great, if nobody's seen, the, I'm talking to you because obviously you've seen the show, but every time she opens the door in a new costume, it, it, the reaction is just... Yeah. Great. Like we, I almost get excited like every night, like because I'm Cause queuing the line down, for it. Come well, on. I, well, I'm queuing the line for it to come out, and I'm just thinking, just wait a second <laughs> yeah. until yeah. that door behind us flies open, and she's yeah. stood in it. Another <laughs> outrageous pink costume. sequins, yeah. Congratulations on this. I mean, as I say, this is not Brecht or Harold Pinter. It's not trying to be. It is the best fun you're going to have in a theatre this year. It's so ridiculously silly and brilliant. Congratulations to both of you. Both big stars. Joe and Kate, thanks for your time. Pleasure.